people knock on wood? This is a question that's come up during our talisman course. So why is it that this old wise saying says, touch wood, knock on wood? Where does this come from? Why do people feel this need? Wood, the tree, is the eternal reservoir of life. Early people believed that dryads, fairies, lived in the woods, in the forests. If you wanted a wish to come true, what did you do? You went into the forest, you found a tree, you knocked on the tree, and you politely, not too harshly, asked the fairy to grant your wishes. Now let's leave the forests and focus on real live sprites who lived in the cities. In the 1920s, Van Cleef and Arpels made touchwood lucky jewels. This is the post-World War I era. This is the time of the Roaring Twenties. Les années folles, it was called in France. The young ladies of the era found that worldliness and skepticism dominated their spirits far more than spirituality. It was an era where skimpy skirts and red lipstick and fast cars were the rule of the day. These flappers, what use did they have for lucky wood jewels? I don't know, just in case? Jacques Arpel said, pour avoir de la chance, il faut croire à la chance. If you want to be lucky, you must believe in luck. When you're making these lucky wooden jewels, what's the purpose besides having fun? The purpose is to protect loved ones. Now here is a watch belonging to Julian Arpels that was given to the Maison by Donna Arpels, gifted to her for luck by his grandson, John Arpels. It's made of amaranth. A touch wood jewel must have a beautiful grain. When you give a watch made of lucky wood to a loved one, the wood is touching their wrist, which means as they count out the hours of the day, they're protected and they feel the luck. We have a chance here to look at these pieces from the museum collection and see how the grain makes you feel a wish to touch and also to be amused, to smile. A woodpecker, mushrooms. This is a reason for the owner to be happy and smile looking at these fun pieces coming from the forest. We are incredibly privileged today. Here is a bracelet which was given to Fangio, one of the world's most famous ever race car drivers. And the French have a joke, you drive like Fangio. Here's something that was made for the 1974 World's Fair in Osaka. It's calligraphy. It's the symbol for long life and happiness on wood. But do you know what? The Chinese character for wood can also be interpreted to mean long life and happiness. That's a rebus for you. Think about it.